Good morning. Can everyone take your seat so we can get started? Welcome, Rattler Nation. I'm loving the energy this morning. The only feeling greater than being a Rattler today is bring, being a Rattler tomorrow. And that's what brings us here today for Family Day at the Capitol. I am Isis Dukes, and I serve as the Government Relations Chair for the FAMU National Alumni Association under the leadership of my passionate president, Mr. Curtis Johnson, Jr. It is an honor to have with us today state and local elected officials, Chancellor Ray Rodriguez, FAMU Board Chair Kristen Harper and Vice Chair Devron Gibbons, um, and trustees, FAMU President Dr. Larry Robinson, uh, University Administration, FAMU National Alumni Association the Executive Board, alumni, extraordinary student scholars, <laughs> community stakeholders, and friends on this momentous occasion. This day of advocacy is to live out the legacy of excellence with caring at the, College of, uh, at the College of Love and Charity that was envisioned by former Congressman Thomas Gibbs in 1887. Since then, it is because of your dedicated year-round advocation that just last year, FAMU was approved for the largest allocation of state funding in university history of almost $58 million. And so with that being said, this work does not stop. May your light continue to shine from the highest of seven hills in Tallahassee as we advocate for FAMU today, FAMU tomorrow, and FAMU forever. <laughs> Next, we're going to have a song by Ms. Caitlin Mobley. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming? whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the rail parts we watch were so gallantly streaming and the Kids red glare, the bombs burst, singing air, gay through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say, our spangled. Better yet away 
and the home of the brave. Thank you, Ms. Mobley. She is a member of the FAMU Concert Choir, so imagine multiple singing just as angelic as she is. So whenever there's an opportunity, I'm going to ask that you attend our concerts. So thank you for that. Next, we are going to have a, uh, we're going to have remarks from a champion of FAMU, a longtime advocate, Mr. Ray Rodriguez. I, I apologize, this Chancellor Ray Rodriguez. <laughs> Thank you. Good morning. What a great day for a FAMU day. And to be able to do it outside, I understand the last couple of these have been rained out, so the Weather has cooperated this year and the sun is shining. And I mean that literally and figuratively. If you've seen the op-ed that President Robinson uh, authored and was published today, you have seen the accomplishments of FAMU. Everyone knows about the national championship in football. That's something to be proud of. I think everyone knows about the number one ranking for public HBCUs. That's something to be proud of. And this year in the US News and World Report rankings, FAMU cracked the top 100 for all national public universities. A little background on that, US News and World Report ranks 1,500 public universities. So I want to put context around that. Out of 1,500 public universities that they ranked, FAMU, number 91. And the best part of Dr. Robinson's op-ed was the line, we are not going to rest on our laurels. The future is bright, it will remain bright, and we will continue to see FAMU on the ascendancy as it continues to rise in the rankings, benefiting the students, our faculty, our staff, and I have to commend the leadership, the Board of Trustees, President Robinson and his team, and I've already commented on the great faculty at FAMU. There's a very aggressive agenda legislatively. We are blessed that we have a governor that supports higher education. We have friends in the House and the Senate who support higher education, and all of them support FAMU. We're gonna work very hard to have a successful session so that we continue to make the investments in FAMU that are necessary to fuel this rise. So with that, I would normally stay for the entire ceremony, but we actually have a Board of Governors meeting that's about to begin. That's why they've worked me in up front to, to offer my remarks. I just want to say I hope you have a great day here at the Capitol. I commend you for the job you have done, and I want you to know we will be there to support you for the job you are going to do. Thank you. Thank you for uh, taking a moment out of your busy schedule, Chancellor Rodriguez, to uh, give those remarks. Next, we are going to have the president, the 19th president of FAMU National Alumni Association, graduate of the School of Business and Industry, and the 2023 Onyx Magazine's Man of Honor honoree, and Mr and our hometown hero of Fort Pierce, Commissioner. We, are, we love to have you this morning give remarks. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, Rattlers. Good morning. We can do better. Good morning, Rattlers. Good morning. It is such an honor to be before you on such a glorious day on the highest of seven hills in Tallahassee at the state capitol. 
This is no strange place for us. We have come here many times to advocate for Mother FAMU. And so Dr. Robinson, Chair Harper, Vice Chair Gibbons, First Lady Robinson, faculty, staff, members of the National Alumni Association, elected officials that are here, and to the best alumni association on planet Earth, I bring you greetings on behalf of the National Alumni Association. There are over 80 chapters and over 80,000 plus graduates of Florida A&M University. And it is the Alumni Association that leads the way when it comes to advocation for Mother FAMU. So I cannot thank you enough for taking time out of your busy schedule to come and do what's important in those hollowed halls. But remember, it does not stop today. It continues tomorrow. It continues forever. And for those that are watching online, pick up the phone, send a text, reach out, and let them know that you are in support of what we are in support of, and that's Florida A&M University. So with that being said, I will humbly take my seat. I look forward to the work that we will do and continue to do for Mother FAMU. Have a great day. Let's go Rattlers! Thank you, President Johnson, for those remarks. It is a true ex exhibition of your great leadership. Next. Okay. Now, it is time for us to get that Rattler energy going. What a, what a better way than to have our cheer team and our illustrious Marching 100 perform for us. Put those hands together, Rattlers. Good morning, everyone. My name is Dr. Shelby Chipman. I serve as director. And of course, also here joining me is Mr. Darrell Baker, the assistant to the director of bands. And before we play our next selection, we would like to pause to thank each and every one of you for your tremendous support of the incomparable Marching 100 and the FAMU, of course, Department of Music, led by Mr. Lindsey Sargent. Uh, the next selection that we will uh, perform will be Lift Every Voice and Sing. We traditionally do this every uh, pregame, and we'd like for you to stand at this time.
All right, you know what time it is, Rattlers. SOS. Come on, cheer team. Here we go, cheer team. 100. Here we go. Put the hands again. Here we go. So. There you go. Here we go, percussion. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you. So one, two. I'd like to pause for a second. Thank you before we play our last uh, selection, and we'll come back and play later. Just to announce that the incomparable March of 100, these students are doing some amazing things, scholars in their own right. And of course, uh, this is our virtuoso band, so we do divide the band up, and it's 35 students here today. Yesterday, 35 different students performed at the Amazon out there by I-10. And on Friday, they'll be back here at the Capitol for the Mo celebration uh, with Black History Month. And if you're not doing anything on Thursday this week, we have our Symphonic Band Wind Symphony concert. You're welcome to attend. It's free. Uh, we have our Symphonic Band 1, about 80 students. Uh, Symphonic Band 2 has about 75 students. And our Wind Symphony will follow to close out the concert in Lee Hall on Thursday with 60 students. And we're excited about that. And of course, Saturday, we're marching the entire band in the Gadsden County a Black History Month parade over in Gadsden County. So looking forward to these performances. And I guess I can go ahead and uh, somewhat make the announcement that, and I did share this with uh, Dr. Robinson and uh, Cynthia Henry the other day, the family incomparable March 100 has been invited. It has not been confirmed yet, but we have been invited to participate in the Brown versus Board of Education 70th anniversary in, anniversary in Washington, D.C in May, and we're very excited about that opportunity. And so 55 to 60 students will be traveling upon approval, of course, to that event. And of course, we've been, been invited back to the Juneteenth celebration in San Jose, California, where we performed also last year. And so we're excited about that opportunity for 55 students and staff to travel out there. So amazing things are happening here on the Hill in all the departments, and certainly we're proud of our students. Next selection is Bob Marley for the first lady, drum major. We're gonna get her to conduct one of these days. Yeah. Reggae time. Come on, Rasta, here we go, where are all the Rasta folks? You know what to do, rock. There you go.
All right, thank you. We'll close out our portion here with Ice Cream Man. Thank you again, ladies and gentlemen. a huge round of applause because if you were called earlier they should have put some fire in your spirit thank you cheer team and uh, to the marching 100 for that performance uh, next we are going to have the leadership that keeps these students engaged mr. our vice president of SGA mr. Jeffrey Francis and our chief of staff uh, Ms. Jada Jenkins to give remarks Good morning. I am Jeffrey Francis, the Vice President of FAMU Student Government Association. And I am Jada Jenkins, the Chief of Staff of the Student Government Association. And on behalf of President Mondelez, the Student Government Association, and the Department of Student Lobbying, and the entire student body of FAMU, I'm happy to bring you greetings to this year's FAMU Day at the Capitol. As we embark on this action-packed day filled with enlightening moments and the opportunity to connect with state legislatures, let us strengthen our bond and deepen our understanding of the issues that, state, that shape the community that surrounds us. May this day be a testament to the power of unity and the impact that we can make together as Rattlers. Thank you. Thank you, Jeffrey and Jada, for your leadership. Next, we are going to have our lead chemist that takes one part love, one part charity, and two parts of excellence with caring, our 12th president of Florida A&M University, Dr. Larry Robinson. <laughs>
morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Dr. Marching 100, part of it for joining us today. Um, there was a lot of talk last week, a week or so ago, about a band playing in the Super Bowl, Dr. Chipman. How many Super Bowls have we played in? Well, well, we can't even keep counting of them. So anyway, we welcome our counterparts to the fold. But if you didn't know, uh, now you know. That is the band right there. And so I am honored to serve as the 12th president of Florida a University. And I want to first begin by thanking Chancellor Rodriguez for coming and sharing some kind remarks with us today. Uh, of course, Ms. Dukes, thank you for all of the work you've done in, in organizing this, working with our staff at the university. Uh, President, uh, Mr. 19, President of the National Alumni Association, thank you, sir, for all you do to support your alma mater. We couldn't get there without you. And in fact, my job is to get more people to join you. So thank you, sir, for all that you do. And if you haven't joined the National Alumni Association, you can't get out of here today. We have fences around, so you're going to have to pay your dues, right? So thank you, Curtis, for all you do. So I just want to tell you that um, ain't enough to say. You heard it all already, but I will repeat a few things. I do want to acknowledge first my wife, Sharon, of 39 years. Sharon, thank you so much. Thank you for staying with me all of those times. My One of my... I don't know, nearly 10,000 bosses, uh, the chair of the FAMU Board of Trustees, uh, Ms. Kim Kristen Harper. Kim Kristen, thank you so much for joining us. As we have the vice chair of the board, Deborah Gibbons. I saw Deborah somewhere. You can't miss him in that Rattler suit. There he is over there. You cannot miss him. There are other members of the board. I want to thank them for joining us today as well. Another group that we kind of overlooked today, I want to acknowledge them. It's the FAMU senior leadership team. Several of them are here. These are the folks who really keep the trains going. They just allow me to take credit for it. So guys, would y'all please stand and, and be acknowledged. Right. I do want to recognize former uh, U.S. Congressman, uh, Mr. Al Lawson. Thank you, sir, for joining us. Thank all that you have done to support this institution. And we're really proud that we have uh, the best student body in the nation. Folks, all rather students, would you please uh, raise your hands like you just don't care, because so many of you are already standing. Thank you so much. You know. And of course, uh, our faculty and staff, they are the ones who uh, make it possible, and we can't ever overlook them for the great work that they do each and every day. I am excited about Florida and University at this time in our history. Our performance over the past year is evidence that the, legislators, the legislature's investment in FAMU is paying healthy dividends. We are seeing improvements in our student success outcomes across the university, and as you probably know, people around the world are paying attention. FAMU, as you heard, is ranked number one among, among national public universities by U.S. News and World Reports, and we're ranked the highest ranked public HBCU for the fifth consecutive year, something that we're really, really proud of. <laughs> you must also remember that we were ranked number seven among all HBCUs, but only privates ahead of us. We have moved up, folks, to number three, right? There are only two privates ahead of us, and they hear the footprints, right? Whatever the Rattlers make when they move, it is not footprints, but they hear it's coming, right? Yeah, they hear that. <laughs> They're shaking in their boots. But I think the most important metric to me is what we're doing in terms of transforming the, life, the lives of our students. We're ranked 21st in the nation in terms of national public universities in terms of social mobility. And that's something that tells the world that even today, in 2024, we're transforming the lives of students who come to this great institution. So much more is happening at this university that is epic. We had a record year in fundraising last year. Our faculty garnered a record amount in research funding last year. We had a record amount of expenditures in research last year, and so much more. Of course, you heard about our national 
football championship, HBCU football championship last year. We have to give a huge shout out to former Coach Simmons and all of the young men and women and A.D. Sykes who, who made that possible. But just in case you thought that was it, you need to realize that we have also won three total SWAC championships this year, okay? Three. Our women, our women won the cross country SWAC championship held right here in Leon County. Um, last week, our women's indoor uh, track team, they won the SWAC championship as well. It's really incredible what these young people are doing, are just amazing. For example, that's not all that's happening because what's happening on the field is also happening in the classroom. For example, uh, thanks to increased funding from the legislature and the governor last year, our School of Nursing graduates for 2023, 28 of the 29 passed the National Council of Licensure Examination on the first try. That's a 96.5 5% pass rate. So what's happening everywhere at the university is an indication that we are indeed committed to excellence with caring. Results matters, funding matters, and we're seeing increases in everything from retention of students in the freshman to sophomore year all the way to their graduation rates. These are some important metrics for us all. But as the Chancellor just said, and as I said in an op-ed piece this morning, we can't rest on our laurels. We have to double down on our successes. Our work is incomplete. We have 9,000 plus students with us today. And by the way, if you didn't know, we have a record number of students again who are applying to get to your alma mater. Last year we had over 22,000 trying to get to the university this year, we're gonna exceed that by about two or 3%. So FAMU's brand is strong. The number of students who want to get here is just incredible. So we're, we're requesting, and everybody needs to know this, these are your talking points. As you go around and visit the various offices today, we're requesting $45.5 million to continue our student success activities. That's the first thing on the list, folks, $45.5 million. There are a lot of things tied into that from recruiting and ret retaining the best and the brightest students to doing the same for our faculty and the services that are needed by our students to succeed. We are making progress towards another major goal that we have, and that is research one status as determined by the Carnegie Foundation. These investments that we're asking for will accelerate that process for Florida a and University. Okay. We're also asking for funding to address some of our most pressing infrastructure needs. Now, if you, if you see the campus today, there are people who were here 20 years ago, certainly when I came 27 years ago, don't hardly recognize it. But at the same time, you know, we are the third oldest public HBC, well, institution in the state of Florida, and, and some days it feels like it, right? <laughs> I mean, we treasure everything that we have, but some days it feels like it. So we're asking for additional fundings to support infrastructure needs at the institution. And we want to thank the legislature. And I see some of the Rattler Caucus folks sitting out here. Could y'all stand? I mean, come on, guys. Y'all just don't know how hard they work on the behalf of Florida a and University. Thank y'all so much for what you do uh, here in Tallahassee and, and in Washington, D.C. as well. Thank you for that. So we're asking for $13.1 million. Put that on your list for the FAMU FSU College of Engineering so that it can become a top 50 engineering school. We're asking for 29 million for renovation of the School of Business and Industry. Where is Dr. Shante Friday Stroud, right? <laughs> her new nickname is Oprah. If you didn't get the chance to see her last night, you'll understand why. You gotta see the tape for yourself, right? Oprah Friday Stroud. Thank you so much for what you did. This building was built in 1982. Some of you 
were barely out of high school, if born at all. And it's time, right? It's overdue. So we're asking for $29 million. The return on that investment will be clear and obvious. We're also asking for $19.1 million for the Chemical and Biological Laboratory Research Center. And as I said earlier, we have had a record year in research funding by our faculty. Investing in that facility will more than double that, we're sure. We think we're going to get to $100 million this year. We got to about $97 million last year, and our faculty are working hard to get there. But we're not done yet. As I said, we cannot rest on our laurels. We want to laurels we have to reach. We want to reach Research One status. We are in. We march to the top 100. Probably I shouldn't say this publicly, but now we want to march through the top 100, right? There's more work to be done there. We want to be a top 10 institution in terms of social mobility uh, and the top producer of talent in STEM, health, and business, okay? But I want you all to know that every program that we have on our campus is important, and we have examples of people, no matter what their majors have been, who've gone out into the world and made a huge difference for themselves, their families, and their communities. I am pleased with our progress, but as I said, I'm, 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 we're not ready to rest. I'm, optimistic about our future, and we tell each and every one of our students, you can get there from FAMU wherever there is. And uh, these alums who are out here today, who's going to be marching these halls and meeting with folks on our behalf, are uh, testaments to that. It's not a theory, it's a fact. So we want to thank the House of Representatives, the Senate, the Governor, and all of their staff for their support of Florida a and University. And I want to thank all of you as well. But I know sometimes, you know, things get a little bit tough, right? And you start about, you start thinking about, can I make it up these steps? Can I take one more leap on the behalf of FAMU? So whenever that happens, whenever that happens, just remember this. Okay? When the dark clouds gather on the horizon, when thunder and lightning fill the skies, when fate is but a glint and the hour falling rattler and hope's a lost friend, when the sound of the chest grows weary from those hard-charging linebackers and the muscles in the legs grow tired from those hard-charging running backs, you must always remember that the rattlers will strike and strike and strike again. Let's go, fam, you. Thank you, Dr. Robinson, for continuing to lead us with that winning formula that you have created. Next, we're going to have our Director of Government Relations for Florida a and University, Mr. Danielle, I mean, excuse me, Ms. Danielle Macbeth. <laughs> Good morning, Rattlers. We are so excited to have blue skies and sunshine after a virtual FAMU day, two hurricanes, and a big thunderstorm last year. So the thunder and lightning all gathered on the horizon in a real way. But we want to acknowledge by name our Rattler Legislative Caucus, and they are now, I believe, taking photos in front of the FAMU letters. So by name, and we have Senator Bobby Powell from Palm Beach. And regrettably, we are losing Senator Powell. He is going back to Palm Beach and will be local with his family. And let's give him an even extra round of applause for his dedication to the FAMU Lee and the state of Florida. And we have Senator Rosalind Osgood from Broward County. Senator Chevron Jones, Fort Lauderdale. Representative Gallup Franklin 
from right here in Tallahassee. And our other Rattler Legislative Caucus member, who I have not yet seen, I don't think she's joined us yet, is Representative LaVon Bracey Davis from Ocoee. And again, from Dr. Robinson's, who are we missing? Oh, I'm sorry. Commissioner Curtis Richardson is with us as well, City of Tallahassee. Are there any other legislators who have joined us this morning? Thank you so, so very much to the leadership of the House and the Senate, the Governor, and the Cabinet for all that you do to support FAMU. Let's go Rattlers! One more hand for our Rattler legislators. Now I present to some and introduce to others an advocate and a longtime supporter of Florida a and University, a man whose name has become a geographical marker where we often say, oh, I'm across the street from the Al Lawson Center, or I'm on my way to the Al Lawson Center, but most of all, a friend to former Director of Government Relations, the late Barbara Cohen Pippen, former Congressman Al Lawson. Good morning. And I would like to welcome all of you uh, to uh, this capital area. You see, it was 41 years ago when I first met Barbara. And I was at a campaign office on South Monroe Street. Barbara was my educational advisor. And I remember when I went to my first forum, I thought I had knocked him out of the park and Barbara said, you know, if I didn't know you were so dumb, I wouldn't be working with you. But Barbara became a figure uh, in all of my campaigns for 18 years that I spent in the House, 10 years in the Senate. Uh, and I see Curtis Richardson, uh, who's a commissioner that we worked hard on family issues and the other senator. This is a very unique time uh, right now uh, in the next two weeks. The work got to be done on behalf of our FAMU and the legislature. Barbara really loved FAMU. In fact, I was saying that Barbara should be honorary alumnus of FAMU. Barbara loved students. She loved the university. She fed students. She loved everything about FAMU. I remember in the days before Barbara made her transition, and she was in a lot of pain, and I had the opportunity uh, to speak to her. And Barbara wanted to know more than anything else, how are you doing? What's happening up in Congress? You know, how everybody is doing? Up until her last minute, she was concerned about FAMU, about the students that she loved so dearly. And I can tell you, I know of no one else that made such an impact on the university as Barbara. As we commemorate her today, and I think about all of the 40 some years that I spent with Barbara, there are a lot of Barbaras out there who are students that can make the difference that she made. And you know, she was from Rhode Island, but FAMU was her love. And I say to all of you all, let's, be, let's, rec let's get more barbers. As I see the chair of the board, Ms. Hopper, I can remember when she was a student, sitting around my kitchen table. You know, uh, it is amazing to see how she has risen uh, to this level. But there are other ones like that, just like that. 
you know, and so I say to university, we are really proud of the work of the president, of where he has taken us. And Barbara was so proud of you. I remember when I got the message that morning, I text you. And I said, Mr. President, we lost Barbara. And you said, oh my God, a great person. So ladies and gentlemen, as we celebrate FAMU Day in the legislature, it is so meaningful that we also celebrate Barbara because she loved this university. Thank you very much. Next, we're going to have a song by Mr. Anthony Williams, a wonderful selection. Mr. Williams, you can come forward. Good morning. I'm going to sing a song. First of all, I'm glad to be here this morning. I'm gonna sing a song that's very familiar that I'm sure everybody here has heard this song one time or another. Um, the song is called Wind Beneath My Wings. So as the music starts to play, that's the song that I'll be singing. I hope you enjoy it. One step behind mm -hmm. So I was the one with all the glory mm -hmm. While you were the one with all the strength Beautiful face without a name For so long Beautiful smile to hide the pain. Did you ever know that you're my hero? You're everything I would like to be. Yes, I could fly higher than any eagle. The wind beneath my wings. I might have appeared to go unnoticed. Yes, but I've got it all here in my heart. Oh. I want you to know I know the truth Of course I know it I would be nothing without you yes. Did you ever know that you're my hero? You're everything I would like to be yes. my wings Did you ever know that you're my hero You're everything, everything I hope to be Oh, and I I could fly higher than an eagle You are the wind 
my wings. You are the wind beneath my wings. Oh, the wind beneath my wings. You, you, you. You are the wind beneath my wings. fly so high oh you, you 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 are the wind beneath my wings oh you 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 are the wind beneath my wings fly fly so high against the stars so high I almost touched the sky Thank you, thank you Thank God for you The wind beneath my wings Thank you, Mr. Williams, for that beautiful song. It was most appropriate for the occasion. Next, we're going to have at Congressman Lawson refer to uh, Chair Hopper as someone that he remembers sitting at his kitchen table. I can tell you, I remember when she used to be my leader. She was my SGA president. She was dynamic then. She's dynamic now. We're going to have remarks from she, followed by remarks from our Vice Chair, Devron Gibbons. Good morning. I do bring you greetings uh, as the Chair on behalf of the Board of Trustees to be with all of you, and it's always great to be with Rattlers. Uh, to trustees who are here today. Uh, I saw Trustee Gibbons and Trustee Brown. Are there other trustees? Please raise your hand and be recognized or stand. All right, wonderful. So I do want to thank Chancellor Rodriguez uh, for being here with us today, to President and Dr. Robinson, administrators, faculty and staff, to President Johnson, the NAA Executive Board, uh, and all alumni who are here and who are watching, to our Government Relations Chair, Ms. Isis Dukes, thank you for all the work that you've done to make yesterday and today such a rousing success. Ms. Macbeth, the senior leadership team, uh, the Rattler Caucus, legislators, elected officials, past and present, and staffs, because you do so much for us. Importantly, to our students and to Rattlers and supporters from near and far. Today is indeed a wonderful day to celebrate and advocate for FAMU. And for over 136 years, it's been legislative advocacy and action that has provided the support that's been needed to propel FAMU forward. It was because of legislative action that the State Normal and Industrial College for Colored Students was established on October 3rd, 1887. What? It's because of legislative advocacy and action that FAMU was established as a land-grant institution, because of legislative advocacy and action that the College of Law was established and re-established, because of legislative advocacy and action that FAMU, we ensured that FAMU did not go from college of the year to the bottom of the tier. Because of legislative advocacy and action that we receive record legislative funding that has already been mentioned over these past few years and with this administration. And today we have that same opportunity to advocate, to take action that moves FAMU forward, all for the love of FAMU. And we do have a story to tell. It reminds me of the scripture in Philippians 4 that says, Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of a good report, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things. And today, we have an opportunity to speak on these things. 
You've already heard so many of the accomplishments of Florida A&M, and today is our opportunity together to advocate for more action to be taken for the love of FAMU. To think that over 136 years ago, what began on a 375-acre plantation, this institution has risen to the number one public HBCU, the number, one, the number 91 college or university across the country. And we're not done yet because we will continue to boldly strike together for the love of FAMU. Let's go Rattlers. Good morning. Oh, come on, you can do better than that. Good morning. I just want to bring uh, greetings again from the, our chair um, and uh, Jamal Brown, our other trustee, is here as well. And uh, I thought I saw former trustee Robert Woody. Is he here? I, I thought I saw him somewhere here. But anyway, I wanted to acknowledge him as well. Um, I just want to say thank you for allowing us, Am Scott Financial, and uh, in his absence, Trustee Mike White and Delible for being a part of this celebration and help to uh, make sure that we can advocate for uh, this fine and great institution with the lead, under the leadership of Dr. Larry Robinson. We have a transformative leader, somebody who's taking us to higher heights and is going to take us even higher. So please give him a round of applause. Now. We're here to, uh, to advocate for the university. So I'm gonna make this very quick. You know, we're rattlers, right? It didn't sound like it. We're rattlers, right? So you know what rattlers do, right? When they see something that's in the way of what they need, they find their position, they lift their heads up, they shake their rattlers, and what do they do? Strike. So let's go in these buildings and strike and bring home some money. Thank you, Vice Chair Devron Gibbons. We will strike, strike, and strike again. To, to close us out for this, this wonderful occasion, we're going to have, once again, the 19th President of the Florida a &M National Alumni Association, Mr. Curtis Johnson. Trust me, that'll be my last time. My knees will not take any more climbing on those stairs. I, I just want to take a moment to acknowledge uh, Chair Dukes. Um, she is a government relations chair, but there are many that serve on that committee. So I want to take a few moments to give some special acknowledgments to those that work so hard that are seen and unseen. I'm going to start with the government relations chair, Ms. Isis Duke, Mr. Hap McMullen is the vice chair, and all members of government relations, please stand. I want you to stand and be recognized. You guys put in countless hours on Monday night to make sure that the alumni are informed that our Capital Day is successful. So let's give them a round of applause. University uh, staff that work with them, Ms. Carmen Cummings, Ms. Regina, thank you guys so much for supporting Alumni Affairs, Ms. Danielle Macbeth, uh, for the students that are here. Um, I also want to publicly acknowledge all of the members of the National Alumni Association is starting off with my life members. So my life members are the blood. So life members, please stand and be recognized and thank you for your contribution that lives on in perpetuity. If you're an annual member, join them by standing right now, please. A member of a chapter, any of my officers. My national board officers, your national officers, please join them and stand at this particular point, the National Alumni Association. We are a volunteer organization that will do the work constantly and will forever strike for Mother Family. You may be seated. There are other organizations here that I just want to acknowledge quickly. Uh, the FAMU Boosters are represented, the FAMU Retirees Club is represented, uh, the National Rattler F Club is represented, the 220 Quarterback Club is represented, our students are represented. So we have done the work thus far. There will be a program following this, where we'll make some more acknowledgments, but Rattlers, we now must strike. We came here to engage our legislators on behalf of Florida A&M University, and that time has come. 
I think our time has been well spent. I want to thank you for traveling. I wish you traveling graces back to wherever you may reside or wherever you're going today. So, Ms. Dukes, if you would join me, please, over here. I think that pretty much concludes our program, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and so, we do we have a minister in the house that would, could cover us in prayer? Come on up, Minister Hap. I'm just going to have a, a blessing out in prayer as we depart to and fro, and uh, this will conclude our program on these steps. Lead us out in a brief prayer, sir. Good morning, good morning, good morning. He told me to lead us in a brief prayer. Saints, please close your eyes. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day, dear Lord. We know that you are here amongst us. We just want to say thank you. We got, the, we got our marching orders. We were, we were told and shared and we were educated by our president, by chancellors, uh, by the board of governors, uh, board of trustees. So just help us, dear Lord, just to continue to have the words and the things that we need to say when we go uh, talk to these legislators today. We know, the Lord, there's some people here that are afraid and are scared, they don't know what to say. But give them the strength. And those that are seasoned vets, help them to carry these others with us so we can make sure that we are fighting for the education initiatives for Mother Family. We love you, the Lord, we praise you. Please be amongst us throughout these halls. There are 160 uh, legislators, the Lord, and there's so many of us rallies that are here to just to advocate for our university. We love you, we praise you, and bless this food we're about to receive for the nourishment of our bodies. Help that food to give us the strength and the knowledge and all that we need in order to fight and speak and be there for our university. We love you. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 All right. All right, let's go Rattlers. Look traveling music. Dr. Chip. Good job. Thank you so much.